What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. For those of you that are getting your hands on the new Samsung Galaxy S10 family, whether it's the E, the regular 10, or the Plus, I wanted to go ahead and put this video together for you guys to see how to finally remap the Bigsby button in a somewhat official manner. Um, this will actually work with anyone with a Note 9 or the S9 series, anything running the One UI um, new sort of skin that Samsung has on their phones. It's a real simple process. The fellows at XDA developers have kind of run through this as well. They actually provided a link that I will throw up in the description description for the app you need. It simply is a tasker app, uh, which makes everything super simple. First thing you need to do though, is actually go ahead and launch the Bixby button and make sure you are on the latest version. And the easiest way is just to go into Bixby, check about Bixby and make sure you're on 2.1.04.18. As long as you are, you are good to go. If not, you will need to update this to get the option to actually be able to remap that Bigsby button. Uh, it's simply right here. You can see exactly what to do. Having said that, let's backtrack a minute though. And I will go ahead and actually pull up this link for you. And here it is, it's on Android file host. All you're gonna need to do is obviously follow the link, click to start the download. It will take a second to find a mirror for you to download it from. And then as you can see, we have the primary download. You'll go ahead and download it. And you'll get the option if you want to download it for the first time or replace it in this case um, i'm going to go ahead and cancel the download and just show you actually what it looks like what downloads it is actually this simple button here it's called bigsby button remapper and as you can see all it does is launch google assistant and you can hear it recording my voice as we speak once you download that you're going to jump back into bigsby once you have the update as well back in your settings and as I showed you prior, go to Bigsby key and where it says double press to open or single press, totally up to you. I actually leave Bigsby on with a double press and then with your single press, you'll actually select what app or command you want to use. In this case, obviously, we're going to want to use it to open an app. You'll go to settings and then you'll literally just pick from your apps you have. In this case, it is right on the top for me. It's a little microphone looking icon. It's already selected. So now all you do, double tap as you saw to go to Bigsby and then single tap to launch assistant. Makes the button a little more beneficial since it's a hardware button. Might as well make the best of it. Use Google Assistant. Comes much more in handy than, um, than obviously Bigsby does at this point in time. That's all for today, guys. I hope this helps. You see how quick and easy it is to actually remap your button. Let me know if there's anything else or any other sort of tips and tricks you guys are looking at. Give a video, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to leave a comment down below for what next you want to see. Till next time, guys.